Welcome everyone to the 2016 Rolex Hall of Fame Enshrinement Weekend and to our induction ceremony here in beautiful Newport. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time and certainly not the last time, won't you join me in welcoming and congratulating the incoming members of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's my sincere pleasure to welcome to the podium the Chief Executive Officer of the International Tennis Hall of Fame, Todd Martin. In the master player category, which represents those who have been retired for more than 20 years. First, Yvonne Petra, who's a French star in the 1940s. His success straddled World War II. His son, Philippe, is here with us today on the 100th anniversary of Yvonne Petra's birthday. <laughs> Britain's Peggy Scriven, she was a dominant force on clay in the 30s. She pushed the sport forward for women. Her career and her accomplishments will be represented here at the Hall of Fame forever. Amélie Moresmo, born on July 5th in 1979. Her smile said to millions of kids, live your life honestly. Live it fully and live it with passion. Play to win, work hard, and never give up. That, my dear friends, is the incredible woman, the incredible, exceptional woman I present to you now, the one and only Amélie Moresmo. I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame for postponing a little bit the induction and uh, for giving me the opportunity to be here with you today with my family, it, uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit late, but uh, it was worth it. Our first Russian inductee, Marat Safin. He was emotional, played with passion. That is what drew me to him. Colorful. Yes. Charismatic. Yes. Controversial. Yes. Great tennis player. No doubt. Right now, I would like him to think. I want him to think about the history of this game and his place in it. Think about all the great athletes, great tennis players, both men and women, that have stood right here before him, all writing their own chapter in this great book of tennis and making the game what it is today in their own way. And how now that he is a part of that. It is your chapter now that has been written and time for you to step here and take your place among the greats. Welcome to the club. My friend, ladies and gentlemen, Murat Safin. Well, it's, uh, it's an incredible place. It's incredible history. Thanks God, I, uh, I know a little bit about that. I mean, the club, the site, it's an amazing place. I never expect that uh, I would be here and I would see that. It was, uh, I heard it was a small tournament in Newport, you know, bad bounces, but come on. <laughs> Who cares about the bounces? Should give him a bathing suit, I think. What an honor it is for me to introduce Justine Hennen, someone who personifies everything tennis stands for. Passion, effort, persistence, and fair play. She was an artist. Power, touch, court sense, creativity. Justine's game was like a rainbow, the full spectrum of color. But Justine was also a warrior, driven, dedicated, focused, one tough competitor. So now, ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce the 2016 inductee into the Tennis Hall of Fame, Justine Hennen. What I learned from my tennis life and what I've learned is how you can do everything to reach your dream and to reach your goal. I learned how to keep my head up even when it was really difficult because there are tough 
tough times during career, and I learned how to keep fighting. I wasn't the tallest, I wasn't the strongest, but I did that campaign one day for a sponsor that was called Impossible is Nothing, and people thought I was crazy. I, I was crazy, but I was just chasing my, my goals, and that's what I learned in my career. Believe in your dreams, because impossible is nothing, and let's keep loving each other and make a better world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Stan, and congratulations, Justine, Amelie, and Marat. <laughs>